everyone, it's Karen from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this project is a little, uh, small little gift box. Closes with a belly band and opens with a flip top. In this one, I've got um, a little bar of a little bar of uh, soap that I've made. Um, but you could put sweets. You could put whatever you, whatever you want in there. So closes with a flip top, belly band goes back on top and on the back of the belly band uh, I haven't done it yet but I'm going to put a little label which says uh, which says what perfume the soap is it happens to be milk and honey which is one of my favourites so it's a very easy and quick little project uh, and if you want to stay with me I'll show you how I made it okay I've measured my little bar of soap and it's two inches square by about seven eighths of an inch deep um, maybe an inch so I've cut a piece of cardstock that is seven inches by four inches and I'm going to score first on the long side at one and a half inches hang on let's get the right end of the uh, of the folding of the scoring tool by two and a half inches by four then it's four and a half inches and five and a half inches that's good on four and a half yes Five and a half inches. Okay, so I've got medium sized bit, skinny bit, fat bit, skinny bit, medium sized bit. And then I'm going to, to score it on the long side at the one inch mark and at three inches. Okay, so I can take my my scoring board out of the way. Right, so now I'm going to cut I'm going to cut out I'm going to cut along the lines uh, to and I'm going to snip those a bit it's always better to have you know to give your folds a little bit of space and the same on this side I did try making this by snipping off those bits, bits off all together, but I didn't like the finish that it gave me. So I'm leaving them in. Right, so my bone folder, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and burnish all of those hooks. This is Sahara sand. I'm not sure whether I said that right at the beginning. So if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. So whenever I'm prepping these, I sort of try and think of all the things that I that I need to say and that I need to tell you, and I nearly always forget something. But you know what? I'm human. So this is how the box. Is going to fold together. Okay. Right now it's going to be easier to decorate the box while it's flat, so um, that's what I'm going to, get, go, going to go and do next. Okay. So to cover our uh, our little box, I've taken a strip of paper which is cut from one of the sheets in our new Timeless Elegance DSP. They are beautiful they are so lovely uh, and I've cut a strip that's one and three quarter inches wide and from that strip I've cut a piece that's one and three quarter inches long and another two pieces that are up each an inch and a quarter now these are going to go onto the uh, top and bottom of the box and they need to be facing in the same direction this one's going to go on the back and it's going to need to go upside down so I'm going to put those on with a bit of snail when I can find my snail here it is because snail will be just fine and dandy for this make sure i've got it the right way up and have removed the cover because it works better that way strange enough so i want this piece sorry going yeah that's right confused myself for a minute 
I center that on onto there and this piece faces in the opposite direction which when you've got things flat you know this doesn't seem to make sense does not compute but honestly when it all comes together truly 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 I promise you Snail fail there for a moment. Okay. Pops on. And then that one goes that way up. Right. So as you can see, when it all that's facing in the right way. When I turn it over, that's facing in the right way. Alright, so I'm going to put some uh, so now I'm gonna put the uh, the fast fuse on to close this together now the fast fuse is going to go on this side and it's going to go on that piece there that's going to be the front of my box those bits are going to tuck out out of the way and that's going to the box down like that and it's going to go on these pieces here come on fast fuse play play nice there you go. the trick to using this is actually to have quite a light hand if you're heavy handed with it, it just does not want to play the game. So folding that over, folding that over, and then bringing those side pieces in, just like that. And there's my little box for my for my piece of soap. Where is it? Where's my soap? Here it is. As you can see, that fits in there, nice and snug. So all that's left to do now is to make the bed band for it. So we'll do that next. Right, I've taken this stamp set, which is a, another one that's new in the catalogue this year, which is called Homemade For You. Uh, and I've taken this stamp, For You With Love, and I've stamped it out on Sahara Sand Ink on very vanilla cardstock. And I've discovered that, I don't know if you can hear that, but the cat is off screen and she is scratching something, so I do apologise. Uh, I have discovered that it fits very neatly in the one inch circle because this is a small box and you don't want, you know, you, you don't want a massive embellishment taking over the universe. So that cuts out quite nicely. Um, and I'm also, I've also got the one and a quarter inch scallop circle punch and I'm going to cut out a piece of Sahara sand and that fits very precisely on that now I think I want to I think I want it flat so I'm coming with my snail I really don't know what the cat is doing which is up to something when I finish filming this I shall uh, She'll have to go and check. She's trying to dig her way through to Australia, I think. It would be like her. All right, so there is my um, there's my sentiment. Now, back to my box and my belly band. I've cut it's a three quarters of an inch wide strip of Sahara sand, and I just me kind of loosely measured it around the box and I think it was a cut I think I cut it to about eight inches but you need to leave enough so that there's a bit of an overlap at the back and you don't want it you know you don't want it to be too tight because you want to be able to get that on and off quite easily so glued up wrap it around and oh, where's my last bit there it is. So let's put a 
couple on. Put one other side like that. And I'll put one on the top of that one. Like that. And then I'm just going to just going to wrap this round. <laughs> the cat has heard my husband coming in, so has gone to greet him. So we'll pause and come back. Um, finished off by wrapping the belly band around my little bar of soap. So now I just want to add the embellishments. I've tied myself a bow using the uh, the, the the lace trim, which is um, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Which is also it, it, it's in Sahara sand, so everything is beautifully coordinated. So I'm going to stick that onto the uh, onto the band. It gives a couple of glue dots here. I don't know. I may need after the vid after the filming. I may need to come in with me, me Tombow glue and make that, you know, a little bit more secure. But just for the sake of speed. For so, put the bow on the front and I've got the sentiments. For you with love so that now slides on it's off and on and there's my lovely little gift one and there is the the final product so i hope you've enjoyed uh thank you for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye bye